How could I? Ever By now, you've probably heard about Olivia Rodrigo's heartbreak anthem, Driver's License, which has taken over the internet, broken streaming records, and debuted atop the Billboard Hot 100. But where did the song come from, and how did it get so massive so quickly? This is Billboard Explains, Olivia Rodrigo's instant hit. First, Olivia already had a built-in fanbase starring on Disney Channel's Bizarre Vark and Disney Plus's high school musical The Musical The Series. High school musical fans were particularly invested in Driver's License since the song was rumored to be about Rodrigo's co-star Joshua Bassett. The two were said to have dated during the show's first season, but Bassett is now thought to be dating fellow Disney actor-turned-singer Sabrina Carpenter, and certain lyrics in Rodrigo's single lead fans to believe the song is inspired by her ex's new relationship. A song about your ex and his new relationship are a surefire way to attract major interest. And you're probably with that brunette girl. And you're probably with that blonde girl. After its release on January 8th, the song grew even more through word of mouth and thousands of fan-made TikTok videos, and some were pretty emotional. Rodrigo's idol Taylor Swift gave the song her blessing, tweeting, I say that's my baby and I'm really proud. That's definitely one way to boost the song to the top of the charts. Just about die. Like Literally, I looked up to her as long as I can remember, so it was so sweet of her to do that. Created in collaboration with veteran pop writer-producer Dan Nigro, the song set the record for the most single-day streams for a non-holiday song in Spotify history on Monday the 11th, then broke its own record the day after. The kind of velocity the song took off with immediately, it's just, this is not something you see from a new single by a new artist. We talked to a Spotify rep during that first week, and they literally said, we've never seen anything like this. So. The only thing from the past few years I can really compare it to is Lil Nas X's Old Town Road. Even that took about a month and a half to grow as big as this song got in its first week. The song bowed at number one on the Hot 100 with more streams than any official debut single by a female artist in history. As of now, the song is celebrating its second week on top of the Billboard Hot 100. And that's how Olivia Rodrigo shot to the top. And it seems she's here to stay.